What is your full name? My name is Hamouda Riyad Azad Chamala. And how do you feel today? I feel fine. Where do you live? I live in Gaza in the Sheikh Aglin neighborhood uh, near to the mosque. What's your full name and where do you work? My name is Hamouda Riyad Asad Shamala. I am an internet application engineer at the Ministry of Health in Gaza. And are you married? Yes, I'm married and I have three girls. Can I ask you a question? What can you tell me about the Red Crescent building in Gaza? The Red Crescent? It's the place that me and my family went to because we considered it to be safe and secure. And you've been there before? I was there for about three weeks. The Red Crescent Organization, the Palestinian Red Crescent in the middle building was where most of the use was. It was about 10 floors and it had a big space. How many people were there? In the entire complex, there were about 40,000 people. About half of those were in the main building where I was. While the Hamas operatives stayed at the complex, they continued to operate. For example, the rockets, what I saw was how they wrapped, they wrapped the rockets in mattresses. Within the mattress, they hid rockets and also guns. That's what I personally witnessed. Did this happen a lot? A lot, a lot, a lot. This happened on a daily basis. No one can tell them no. Who could do so? If you dare to confront a Hamas member, he may kill you. Why do you think they chose this place to hide weapons, the Red Crescents? Firstly, the sheer number of people in the place. The number of people in the place served as a protection for them. What do you mean by that? Well, we became human shields. It's obvious that the IDF would not strike a place with 40,000 people in there. If they want to fight, use the battlefield. It's not okay that they'd use a place of shelter with so many people in it to uh, conduct military activities. If one of the rockets, for example, would explode, it could kill 50 or more of us. We're speaking about this place and the Shifa hospital, the only places that they could use to hide in Gaza. Who? Who were you talking about? Talking about the Hamas and Palestinian Islamic Jihad. It was actually scary. The whole thing was uh, pretty terrible. We went there to find shelter and then they came and endangered me and my family at this place. You, you're talking about the Red Crescent. Yes. I have a few questions to ask you regarding the hospitals. Please state your name and what you know about it. Abdul Rahman Allah Ibrahim Samur. I was in the Swedish hospital in Gaza. It belongs to UNRWA. And I was also in the Rantisi hospital. Those are the uh, two places I can tell you about. You were there for a while. I was there for five days. In which hospital? Rantisi in Gaza, yes. When I went to the Rantisi hospital, I saw Hamas operatives who had taken control over the hospital. How many of them were there? About 100 in total. They were organized with several tents with each group of operatives by themselves. And there were a group, four or five of them in total, sitting together, all of them spread out throughout the hospital. What did they do there day and night at the hospital? They carried out attacks. Regarding the Swedish military hospital, I saw there seven different Hamas operatives inside the hospital. Did you see them? Yeah, I saw them. They were in uh, civilian clothing. So how did you know they were Hamas? Yes, I knew for sure. How did you know? Well, they were armed. And uh, I also knew personally that one of them was from Hamas. I knew him previously, yes. Do you, want, do you want to tell me that in the heart of the hospital, there were Hamas operatives? Yes, they operated out of the hospital. Did they also sleep there? Yes, they also slept in the hospital. Did they leave? 
They left and they came back later. And why the hospital? Why did they choose the hospital specifically? Because it was a secure place and they thought that nobody would be able to uh, locate them in there for their operations, yes. In a way, no one would suspect them there. It was better, therefore, than operating out of their house. So the Hamas operatives, how do they use the hospital exactly? As a base for their operations, they prepared themselves from within the hospital. They launched units for their missions outside the hospital. So they sent units to operate outside from the hospital to perform their missions and they came back, yes. I told you about the Rantisi hospital, they operated at a large scale. What do you mean by that exactly? There were so many of them, it was actually really scary. I was there for about five days and I was terrified. How are you? I'm good. How do you feel? I'm, I'm fine, thank God. I was in the Shifa hospital. There were about 50,000 people who sought refuge and uh, I was there inside the hospital and i know the doctors there the doctors were furious because hamas operatives and operatives of other terrorist organizations were locating themselves in the, inside the hospital how many of them did you see the operatives i saw around 80 90 100 up to about 100 people i would say the terrorists Hamas and Islamic Jihad terrorists both in the hospital in the Shifa hospital in the heart of the Shifa hospital they were dressing themselves the Hamas operatives as nursing staff but they weren't nurses or doctors do you mean those who identified with Hamas Hamas operatives dressed as medical staff in order to blend in in the hospital wards and they were even located in the ICU